हेलो गाइस, आई एम रजत बत्रा वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल आज हमारे साथ हैं मिस्टर दिवानशु हु इज अपकमिंग एसोसिएट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एट एमडॉक्स सो टुडे वी विल लर्न फ्रॉम इस इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस हम डिटेल में ईच राउंड के बारे में जान रहे होंगे वी विल We will get into deep details of each round और समझेंगे कि किस तरीके के क्वेश्चन पूछे गए थे और आप भी कैसे एम डॉक्स में प्लेसमेंट ले सकते हैं सो थैंक्स दिवानशु फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग आर इन्विटेशन कैन वी स्टार्ट विद ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन प्लीज Yes, so my name is Divanshu Sadeva, and I'm currently pursuing electronics and computer engineering from Thapur University, and I'm a final year student, and I lives in Panipat, Haryana. That's all. Uh, thanks, Divanshu. That was a great introduction. So, Divanshu, that uh, was it an on-campus opportunity was or an off-campus one? It was on-campus opportunity. And what was the eligibility criteria? Uh, eligibility criteria was six point five CGPA, and only CSE and ENC branches were allowed. Okay, CSE and ENC are allowed. Yes. And how many rounds were there, starting from the right first uh, online assessment round? Yes, so there are basically three rounds. First one was online test, second one was technical interview, and uh, last one was HR round. Okay, so Devansh, can you elaborate upon each round in detail? Yeah, so first round was online test. Uh, 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 duration was three hours, and it comprises of four to five sections. Uh, like verbal english aptitude and there were some coding questions and sql queries were as well yeah so overall test was easy to moderate level and coding question was uh, around our problem solving skills or basic cs fundamental something sort of no no uh, it was uh, problem solving skills problem solving skills and that can yeah. be lead code medium yeah lead code easy to medium easy to medium well, hard questions were not there And yeah. total, how many questions were there? Do you remember? Uh, sorry, I don't remember. Okay. But it was quite lengthy. It was. It was quite lengthy. Okay, got quite lengthy. Got that. Got that. Yeah. So after short listing, after short listing from this round, you went to the next round. That was a technical round. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh, can you elaborate upon technical round, please? Yeah. Uh, so technical round was started with my introduction, and he asked me to explain one of my projects in brief. and then he asked some uh, technology based questions that i used in my project and uh, then he gave me a uh, two three question two three coding questions based on cs fundamentals which was quite easy and i was able to solve uh, in around 15 to 20 minutes and uh, afterwards it he asked me about uh, dbm dbms uh, questions like relational versus non relational database uh, and ddl versus dml and uh, some uh, basic questions of oops were also asked and were you also asked to solve some problem solving or do some coding questions also or not uh, no o- only but it was only based on your resume cs fundamentals and some of the basic concepts of cs fundamentals like dbms and other cs fundamental subjects right yes yes yes, yes. okay and it was of around one hour Forty uh, minutes. Okay, forty minutes. So great uh, to hear. There that. was only uh, yeah, there was only one uh, sorting questions. Uh, red uh, rest two questions were uh, basically from oops. First one is operator overloading and and second one was operator overriding. Okay, thanks, Devanshu. And what about the third and final round? Yeah, so uh, final round was H R round, which was quite simple. Uh, uh, she just asked me about the experience of my technical interview. and uh, then she asked about my uh, uh, class 10th and 12th marks she just verifying my marks uh, and that's all about the hr round okay means the hr round was very simple you were asked about very simple question means the basic interview yeah. comprises of two rounds that was first was a technical round that comprises of a mix of aptitude question verbal okay. question and some of the cs fundamental questions and coding questions as well and second round also comprises yeah. of uh, those cs fundamentals and basic discussion on your projects and uh, project sort of thing yeah yeah okay 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 so thanks divanshu for sharing your valuable interview experience uh, do you have some advice for your juniors uh, that are, who are there in their first year or second year so that they can excel well in their career and they can practice coding well yeah i would suggest them that uh, they should do uh, dsa at a very uh, by understanding it very great and uh, and they should also focus on core subjects like uh, dbms oops and uh, operating systems and 
and they should uh, do some uh, development and take some take parts in hackathons regularly so that they can know the real competition around their college uh, so thanks ivan that was a great introduction that was a great advice as ivan mentioned you must uh, you must practice cs fundamentals also because in all the interview right yeah. see ground cs fundamentals are also asked so some of us ignored these cs fundamentals and got stuck in interviews so we must do these cs fundamentals seriously so thanks yes. ivan so for sharing your valuable interview experience i will provide the link of his linkedin profile in the description below so if any one of you still has a question feel free to ping divyanshu he will surely help so thanks guys for watching this um, if you like this video please do share it with your friends thank you have a nice